Okay guys, let's start a new project by going to our new projects tab in the start screen. And then let's go to the basic template, which is one that should everyone should have access to. By opening this up, we're going to go through just real quickly what we'll be looking at in a basic screen layout and what we can do to change it to make it more appeasing to our eyes and to help us with our workflow. So as we open up the basic template, although the color schemes and everything may change based off of what you have yours set on, all of the layout of this should be nearly identical. What we're looking at here on the left hand side, this is the console view. The console view can be uh, collapsed or brought out by these arrows as well as any of these others can be done as well. If I want to bring them out or I bring them up, whatever I want to do. I can use these to collapse things on the screen or I even have several docking options. I can dock it at the right if I'd like. I can dock it at the left. And if I like, I could even take it and make it a separate window that I could choose to put on a second screen. Or I could even, if I find a blue area, drag and drop it, and now it's going to be docked automatically there. So I'm going to go ahead and undock it and then exit, which will get rid of it completely. The console screen that's on the side here, I also have access down here if I click on this tab. Now if I was to click and drag this tab, it would make it into a separate window. If I bring it up to the top, it'll make it a full window. I can exit out of that or I can minimize it and it'll show up down here like this. And at any time I can bring it back. I'm going to go ahead and exit out of that as well. The help module is very helpful. Imagine that. <laughs> if you click on something, it's going to give you some automatic feedback as to what that is. For instance, if I was to click in the effects rack, it would tell me what to do. I can right click to insert effects, drag effects vertically to rearrange, and select on this and it's going to tell me that's my MIDI track strip, whereas this is my audio track strip. And I can right click this as well, as well to edit anything within there. So this is the basic setup that you start out with. If at any time though you would like to change the way that it looks, I can go up to lenses and I can select from a different variety of lenses. For instance, if I go to Advanced, it's going to open up the video option that you have also within Cakewalk. If I go to Record, it's going to open up a different view, or a lens as they call it, to give me a different view of what I have within my track panels. And if at any time I want to say, change this to look like that, drop this down to where it's just all I see is my tracks and maybe I want to uh, drag this out drag this down I can at any time I can go and, and save this lens or collect new lens and name it in this case we'll just put lens name and now anytime I select on lens name I go from advanced back to lens name it's gonna pull up exactly what I just had there on my screen. Like everything within Cakewalk, it's completely customizable. It's great to have all of these different options that you can use at any time to make it very customizable, not just to your own needs, but also, I mean, to make it more aesthetic. So now we're going to also go a little bit deeper into how to import and export tracks, just real quickly. So if I have an audio track and a MIDI track, let's say I want to add another audio track. I could simply right click in this area here and put insert audio track. If I wanted to move that track around, I could wait until I see the double arrows, move it up, or move it back down. If I want to enlarge the tracks or make them smaller, I could wait till I see the double arrows with the break. Or the other option that I have is I can actually go up here to add track this way. I can already set it to record enable and if I go into my advanced I could create a bus that would automatically be synced to or I can also insert instruments this way as well. So let's insert an audio track and record enable it and let's say let's do this with three tracks. So now there's going to be three tracks that's going to be added, record enabled and ready to go. Also helpful to mention on the view is 
if I click on this, I can go to different options within my actual audio strip. So in this instance, I can see the volume, the gain levels, and the painting options, as well as set them to stereo or mono. Whereas in the effects options, I'm just going to see only the effects strip here. And if I went to the in out, it would only show me what the in out was. Now personally, I like to set it to all. That way I see everything that it has to offer. And you can also, by dragging this out, make them either vertical or horizontal. So, like I said, yet again, very completely customizable. And in the next video, we're going to be diving deeper into just how to customize everything and save it as a 